Welcome to the Pod Slice. On this episode's summary of the Huberman Lab podcast, Dr. Andrew Huberman is joined by Dr. Oded Richavi, a professor of neurobiology at Tel Aviv University, to discuss the fascinating topic of genetic inheritance and epigenetics. Dr. Richavi starts by providing an overview of genetics, explaining that genes are made of DNA, which contains the entire set of genetic instructions in every cell of our body. While the same genes are present in all cells, there is a difference between certain cell types, which is where somatic cells and germ cells come in. Germ cells are the only cells that contribute to the next generation, making them the only cells that can pass genetic information to offspring. As the conversation continues, the distinction between somatic and germ cells is explored and it is noted that experiences cannot be inherited in the same way that physical traits can. However, certain types of knowledge at the level of cells and systems can be inherited, which opens up a huge landscape of interesting questions. The discussion then shifts to epigenetics, which refers to the changes in gene expression that are not caused by changes in the DNA sequence, but rather by chemical modifications. These modifications can lead to differences in gene expression between identical twins who are raised in different environments. The theoretical problems of the inheritance of acquired traits are also discussed, including the Wiseman and epigenetic barriers, along with examples of how the environment can affect an organism's traits through epigenetics, such as the effects of starvation and hardship on the next generation. They then delve into the topic of model organisms, such as worms, and their importance in studying basic functions in cells. Dr. Huberman explains that model organisms have been critical in informing our understanding of human health and biology, and that the nematode C. Elegans is a particularly important model organism due to its transparency, short generation time, and well-mapped neural connections. In a different segment, the conversation turns to the groundbreaking discovery of RNA interference, or RNAi and its mechanisms that use small RNA molecules to regulate gene expression by silencing specific genes. The hosts also highlight the importance of RNAi in drugs that target specific genes and note its conservation in many organisms, including humans. The discussion then shifts to the experiments on C. Elegans worms that demonstrated the transmission of RNA-based resistance to viruses to subsequent generations. Additionally, they discuss the discovery of genes that regulate how long an effect lasts, preventing the transmission of traits that are no longer needed for the environment. The podcast then explores the complex mechanisms of epigenetic inheritance, particularly in relation to the lifespan of an organism. They use C. Elegans worms as an example, noting their ability to inherit adaptive traits for three to five generations. The difficulties of translating synaptic information into heritable molecular form are also discussed, along with the potential implications of this finding for human health and disease. In another segment, Dr. Huberman and Dr. Richavi discuss the concept of disgust, particularly in relation to the practice of incest. They explain how some communities, such as Israeli kibbutzim and populations in Scandinavian countries, limit mating within close family members to avoid inbreeding, and keep meticulous records of lineage. The conversation then turns to the study of C. elegans, a type of worm that exhibits interesting mating behavior in response to stress. Dr. Richavi explains that the worm's pheromone secretion is not a conscious decision, but rather a biasing of probabilities. They compare this to human mating behavior, which is also influenced by conscious and subconscious factors. The discussion then turns to the topic of autism and the higher likelihood of having a child with autism and older fathers due to DNA damage and the accumulation of mutations in the germ cells over time. Dr. Richavi, who discusses his research on genetics, inheritance, and memory in C. Elegance. Dr. Richavi found that when the worms were placed on ice after learning a specific association, they did not forget for up to 24 hours. This led to an investigation of the internal state of the worms and the genetic changes that occur during cold tolerance. He also discusses his research on RNA and epigenetics, including how RNA molecules are passed down through generations and can affect gene expression. Dr. Richavi's research on C. Elegans also showed that a specific neuron involved in memory extension is sensitive to lithium, which can switch the forgetfulness mechanism on and off. This finding emphasizes the potential implications for human health and disease. Overall, this Huberman Lab podcast provides a clear and engaging overview of the field of epigenetics and the use of model organisms in scientific research. Dr. Huberman and Dr. Richavi provide examples and explain complex concepts in an accessible way, making the material understandable to a wide audience. The discussion highlights the importance of understanding basic biological functions and the potential implications for human health and longevity. The podcast also emphasizes the importance of interdisciplinary research, communication of scientific findings, and fostering creativity and innovation in the field of biology. Thank you for watching the pod slice. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Cheers!